Uh, I know that you talked about how excited you were about Matt coming over, but just being on the court with him and, you know, you guys passing the ball to each other, running up and down, how nice is that? Yeah, as you can see from the smile on my face, it's like old times. We had a lot of good memories at Iowa State. And, uh, like I said before, I think it's just so unique and cool that, you know, you can live out a dream that you once talked about with one of your good friends in college, in college about what it's like to be at the next level. And we get to, uh, not to sound too mushy, but we get to do it together on, on the same team. Um, it's a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. It was great to be back out there um, with Matt and, and see him put the ball in, in the hoop, put the orange thing in the orange thing. Next up, Eric Walden, Salt Lake Tribune. Hey, George, once you guys get up by as much as you were and, you know, you go from playing with kind of the rotation guys to being kind of the anchor point with the young guys in the fourth quarter, how does the focus shift? Like, what kind of things are you working on? What kind of things are you telling them as they're getting some experience playing in the game? Uh, you know, I think the biggest thing for me is just, continuing to play the right way, whether that's me being involved more in actions or pick and roll or post-ups, just still playing the right way, you know, making the right reads and defending. Coach is always preaching about defending. So the biggest thing is just when I'm out there with them is lead by example uh, and do the right things. Uh, I think that that's really all I'm really focused on is continuing to play the right way, no matter what the score is. Brian Miller, KSL. Hey, George, can you kind of feel when teams get intimidated, per se, by Rudy? <laughs> uh, for sure. When, you know, they're not taking shots at the rim or they're taking long contested twos. Um, I don't know what word you'd use it, but the gravity that Rudy has as a defender with, you know, keeping guys out of the paint is uh, – one that I, is like one I've never seen. Uh, you know, it's realistically the way we play defense is, you know, if your guy does beat you, you know, continue to stay on his hip and good luck, you know, because I mean, Rudy's 7'2, he's a skilled shot blocker. He's not just big, but, you know, he's skilled at what he does and he has a great ability if he's not going to block the shot to just make guys miss. So, um, there's a reason why he's a two-time defensive player of the year. And with everything that's being said, he should be the three-time defensive player of the year. Um, just putting that out there. No, I don't think anybody affects the game more defensively than Rudy does. And that's just a fact. All right, next up, Kristen Kenny, Jazz TV. Based in Memphis for the third time in six days in Memphis, uh, what do you expect this time around? Uh, Dogfight, uh, you know, nothing less than that. Uh, Memphis is a super tough team uh, and they have a lot of skilled guys and they're not happy that they came out here and dropped two against us. So we're definitely going to get their best bet and their best fight. And, uh, you know, we're going to have to be ready for it. Um, I think it's huge for our growth to get out there and, and get that game. Um, obviously, it's going to be a tough one, but, you know, the way we started this season, we're really just focused on getting a little bit better each day. Last question, Andy Larson, Salt Lake Tribune. George, you're now seasoned veteran, so I'm going to ask you about the young guys. And in particular, you know, you're playing with Trent, you're playing with Elijah, you're playing with Jarrell Brantley. What do you notice from those guys and their minutes so far? And, and kind of what are you excited about with, with them? Um, you know, I think the biggest thing uh, that I'm excited for them is you kind of see a little bit of your journey in that, you know, building brick by brick with, you know, every five to 10 minute stint that they get and the stuff that you see them work as working endless hours on in pickup when they play three on three or four on four and in practice and when their workouts and you get to see that implemented um, in their game when they're out there. And uh, there's a quote, you know, Jeff Van Gundy spoke to my college team one time and told me, you know, when you find like real happiness in the game is when you can actually be happy for someone else's success. And sometimes I catch myself acting like a silly schoolgirl, jumping up and down when they're making threes and, you know, doing the moves that they've worked on. And that's the best part is because I know what it was like to grind and get to that point and work hard and to get your opportunity and to see those guys have that success and see the stuff that they work hard on work is like uh, thrilling. You know, it's thrilling for me because uh, I'm happy for them because I I've been in their shoes and I know how much work they put in. So to see the ball go in for them, makes me uh, really happy and especially when they play well. That's it. Thank you, George.